Okay, in this video we're going to graph 1 half x minus 4 equals y and um, I'm actually going to use the table method again because we have y isolated. So for example when we get on to questions 6 and 7 the y value isn't by itself so we're going to use the xy intercept method here. But um, just for this one we'll just use the table method because y is isolated and uh, you need to know the table method anyway when you get to intermediate algebra as we discussed you'll be graphing curves and you got to use the table for that anyway so um, we'll set up a table x and then y equals so x and then y equals one half x minus four okay and we'll plug in you know zero one two and so on and we'll go one half times x minus four each time so the first thing we're going to write down is one half and then parentheses then minus four then we plug in the x value and calculate it so plug in zero and what does that make <coughs> what's a half times zero that's zero isn't it and then minus four what does that make negative four right so the first point we have is zero negative four x is zero y is negative four x is zero y is negative four okay. then we plug one in so you got a half times one minus four what does that make so plug the one in half times one is a half so that's a half minus four right and you can calculate that when you get it you actually end up with negative three and a half right negative three and a half or negative three point five don't you because it's a half take away four right and then we plug in two and we get a half times two minus four what does that give you calculate that what's a half times two what's what does two halves make be one right minus four what does that give you one take away four negative three right so two negative three right x is two y is negative three you know and when we go to plot that that's enough points already isn't it so this is the x-axis this is the y-axis right whoops that's the x-axis and this is the y-axis okay zero negative four where is zero negative four x is zero and this is the x-axis zero one two three four and so on this is the y-axis the y-axis goes zero one two three four up this way okay so when x is zero and y is negative four where is that where is x is zero x is zero is here y is negative four there's negative one negative two negative three negative four right that would be down here so x is zero y is negative four is this point here isn't it and then one negative three and a half x is one y is negative three and a half which is actually here and it just brings up a point that we don't really like you have to kind of guess to figure out where the half is right so that's really not a very useful point to be graphing where is x is 2 and y is negative 3 x is 2 y is negative 3 that's about here isn't it right so that's useful and I guess one point I want to make about this particular guy is when you're working with fractions it's one half and what's on the bottom the bottom is 2 if you just plug in multiples of 2 and you can plug in any x value you like if you plug in multiples of 2 then a half times a multiple of 2 is going to give you a whole number right so give me another multiple of 2 we have 0 we have 2 what else 4 give me another multiple of 2 6 right 8 10 any of those right so if you plugged in multiples of 2 your output would be whole numbers because watch this we'll go a half times 4 minus 4 what does that give you half times 4 what's half of 4 2 so we have 2 minus 4 what does that give 
negative 2, right? So 4, negative 2 would be that point. So x is 4, y is negative 2. Where's that point on the graph? 4, negative 2. x is 4, y is negative 2. That would be here, wouldn't it? Right? So my point is, when we plug in a multiple of 2, we end up with a whole number answer, because it's, 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 it's a half times the multiple of 2, right? Or you could go a half times 6 minus 4, okay? What's a half of 6? Half of 6 is what? What's half times 6? Half of 6? 3 minus 4. What's 3 minus 4? You have $3, you take away 4. What's left? A debt of 1, right? So 6, negative 1, right? X is 6, Y is negative 1, and that's here. So you can see that these points line up to make a straight line. So, of course, you only need two points to make a straight line, but I always like to do three just to be sure. I mean, I know I did five this time, but I wouldn't usually do that. But, I mean, if you did three, that will kind of make sure that you're doing the right thing. So this equation is y equals one-half x minus four, and usually label it like that beside the, the line, and usually put a, an arrow on the top and bottom to show that it goes on forever in both directions. Right, because we, we could have plugged in other values for x. We could have plugged in negative 2 or negative 10 or whatever, right? We didn't have to just plug in. We just picked these x values, but you can pick any x values you want. It's, it, it's usually nice to start with 0. 0, 1, 2, 3. That's usually a good way to start, you know?